Destroyers lack the heavy side armor belts of battleships or cruisers. Their hull plating typically range from 8 to 19 millimeters of mild or high tensile steel, designed for seaworthiness and structural strength rather than protection. Even a 20 millimeter autocannon could easily penetrate this thin plating. Destroyers were primarily constructed using high tensile steel or HTS for framing and hull integrity. Unlike the face-hardened or homogeneous armor used on capital ships, HTS was structural, intended to prevent flexing at high speeds, but incapable of resisting shells or bombs. Some destroyers had fuel oil tanks along the hull sides, which could absorb shell splinters and act as a crude form of buffer. However, when pierced, these tanks posed a serious fire hazard, especially against incendiary or tracer rounds. The U.S. Navy made limited use of special treatment steel, or STS, about 12 to 19 millimeters thick, to protect ready-use ammunition lockers. Although STS was ductile and resilient against fragmentation, it is still too thin to withstand direct hits from even destroyer-caliber guns. Want to learn about five worst destroyers in World War II? Tap the related video below.